third and fourth grade today we are taking care of our classroom practice number 13. Double check you've got your name on your paper. We'll classify our first two sentences and then work through some more of this together. Sentence one we'll do together. Sentence two you'll do a little bit of it by yourself. Sentence one. Two frisky squirrels scampered rapidly along a wooden fence. What scampered rapidly along a wooden fence? Squirrels. Subject, noun. What is being said about squirrels? Squirrels scampered. Verb. Scampered how? Rapidly. Adverb. Along. Preposition. Along what? Fence. Object of the preposition. What kind of fence? Wooden. Adjective. Ah, article adjective. What kind of squirrels? Frisky, adjective. How many squirrels? Two, adjective. Subject, noun, verb, pattern, one. Check. Along a wooden fence, prepositional phrase, period statement, declarative sentence, go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Sentence two, Taylor asked for a drink before bedtime. Who asked for a drink before bedtime? Taylor, subject, noun. What is being said about Taylor? Taylor asked. For, for what would she ask for? Drink. Object of the preposition. A. Uh. Label all uh, yourself. Before. Preposition. Before what? Bedtime. So what would you label bedtime? Put your label up here. Subject, noun, verb, pattern one. Check. For a drink. Prepositional phrase. Before bedtime. Prepositional phrase. Period statement, declarative sentence. Now by yourself, go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Okay, so you should have divided the complete subject from the complete predicate. You should have a label above A, and you should have a label above bedtime. Exercise two, write the labels for the five parts of speech you've studied so far. It would be here. Start with noun, verb, what are our other three? Five is the new one that we've been focusing on this week. Press play when you're done. Exercise three, a cute puppy with black spots slept quietly inside. Choose the part of speech for the word inside. A cute puppy with black spots slept quietly inside. What slept quietly inside? Puppy. Subject, noun. What is being said about puppy? Puppy slept. Verb. Slept how? Quietly. Adverb. Slept where? Inside. What answers the question where? A noun, verb, adverb, adjective, or a preposition? Number two. Choose the part of speech for the word with. With what? Spots. Okay, so with is one of those prepositions. With. Preposition. With what? Spots. Object of the preposition. What kind of spots? Black. Adjective. Choose the word that is a noun in the sentence. So we're looking for either a subject noun or an object of the preposition. Subject noun was puppy. Ooh, puppies are an option. Let's find that object of preposition. Ooh, spots. Spots. Excellent. So that is our noun. Exercise four. Fill in the circle beside each correct answer. What's a synonym for shorten? If you shorten something, you make it smaller. Is that ample, abbreviate, or export? Well, if you shorten something, you make it smaller, that's abbreviating it. So you put abbreviate 
right there. All right, now let's go through and edit. Kim, would you talk to Mr. Fuller at Northside School about the science fair? Ooh, right away, what's our end mark? Kim, would you talk to Mr. Fuller at Northside School about the science fair? You notice how my voice kind of goes up at the end? That's because it's a, a question. All right, let's take care of our capitals next. First word, gotta capitalize the first word of the sentence. What else would we capitalize? Kim, would you talk to Mr. Fuller at Northside School? Oh, right, that's a place, so Northside School. And then find the other name that you need to capitalize both words in. Promise, listen for where my voice pauses. Kim, would you talk to Mr. Fuller at Northside School about the science fair? Well, right at the beginning, right? Because we have that kind of introductory phrase. Kim. And then where am I going to add a period? Well, look in the name. Mr. Fuller. Where do we need a period in the name Mr. Fuller? Once you're done with that, you are completed with our grammar for today. Make sure it makes it back in your Thursday folder.